Good morning. It's Kara Bradley. I'm coming to you from my car. I am sitting in my car overlooking a river close by to my house, the Schuylkill River. And, you know, I love to record these morning messages in different places because it helps us to access different parts of our mind, different different ways of of seeing the seeing the world seeing ourselves and so i think it's important for us even as in what we do for work and how we create to continue to change things up to look at life from different perspectives different places different times of the day it's how we stay fresh it's how we stay on the verge literally so today i want to talk to you about knowing you, getting to know you, not me getting to know you, though I'd love to do that, by the way, don't forget to reach out to me, but you getting to know you and how you operate and how you work and how things are, are humming along in your mind and body. I think in this day and age of the busy mind, which we've been talking about, it is so easy for us to forget ourselves. It's so easy to ignore patterns, habits that we've accumulated, information that we're holding on to. It's so easy for us to not even see how much speed we're living on or how we're overthinking things. It's so easy to be the frog in the boiling water. I talk about this parable a lot because I, I think it's so profound that you know that frog, you throw it into the bo pot of boiling water, it knows how to jump out. In instincts immediately know what to do. No, don't try this at home. Who knows if it even works, but it's a good visual, right? But if you put the frog in the pot of tepid water and you bring it to a boil slowly, it doesn't recognize what's happening. We are living in that pot of simmering water, and we don't realize how much we are being asked by the world to take on, how much information is being uh, thrown at us, every second of the day. I don't remember the stats, but it's like hundreds of thousands of bits of information bombard our mind every day, our kid's mind. We don't realize the, the, the pack schedule that, that we are, have become accustomed to. The lack of sleep that we think is normal or that we, we think is, uh, you know, <laughs> admirable, the crazy busyness that we share with each other. We think the busyness is means we're more important. This is the water that we're simmering in, and we're slowly boiling ourselves to death. Our nervous systems are not wired for this kind of load or stress, and so we've become chronically stressed. Me, personally, have become chronically stressed, adrenal fatigue, inflammation, weight gain, brain fog. I am and have been there with you. And I'm so grateful for it because it allows me to speak from my own experience as opposed to being a teacher. I'm just a human in process right there with you. So in this message today, it is a call to get to know yourself, to get to know what your busy mind is so busy doing. It's why I, it's why I talked about the traits of the busy mind as being just, just these landmarks that you can recognize. Sloppy brain, crazy busy, overthinking, information overload, autopilot are just a few. What is your busy mind so busy doing? When we start to become familiar with our patterns, it is then at that pivot point that we give ourselves the space to start to redirect how we're living. 
And these are our practices, and I'm going to get into it in the next few weeks, few months, who knows? Who knows how long I'll be doing this? But for today, get to know you. Pay attention to what you're doing, to what your busy mind is doing. Just take note. No judgment, my friend. Ah, on speed. Ah, crazy busy. Ah, sloppy brain. And, and your own. In fact, tomorrow we're going to do a gut check. Tomorrow we're going we're gonna to tune in to, and identify some of these things. For today, lift up the hood of your car, of your own mind, and take a look underneath. Let's start to get to know how we are currently operating so that we can lubricate, we can make some changes, we can tighten up some screws where, where needed. All right, that's it for today as I sit in my car overlooking the river and uh, getting to know me, getting to know you. Don't forget to check the show notes. I'm loading it up with links. I want to hear from you. I want to get to know you. And I want to work with you. So uh, there's a link there. Click click on that link. Get to, uh, get, get to know how to work with me. Because I am, uh, hey, I'm partnering with a couple of really amazing people. And one of those next people could be you. Take care.